Alright, welcome back to Jump One Half. Before I go and explore World 8, I think I should go complete other things first. Oh hey, it drops me off here apparently. Well, it's close to where I wanted to be anyway. Let's check out this castle and see where it goes. Factory of Necessity by Witherskelly. So far his levels have been platformy, rompy levels. So... I have a feeling there's going to be less puzzles in this level than in some of the other levels we've seen so far. Let's climb up here. Ooh, which way do I want to go? Probably left. Oh, it's just coins. Well, that's not very exciting. <laughs> Good enough. Let's dodge that. Get my bearings. Can I go down here? Nope. I was wondering if it would take me down to this area, but... Hmm, there's a dragon coin in there, but I don't know how to get to it. I've got to come out of that pipe, so let's check all the pipes around here and see if I can find one that I can go in. Not this one. I have a feeling it might be the one down there. Alright, let's hope I don't die. Good. Not dying is always a plus. Grab myself a mushroom. Oh, okay, I'm probably supposed to use this trick again and bring him over here. By stomping on him, I think I changed his direction too, which ended up being an important part of the puzzle. Alright. So I gotta bounce on this guy. Not sure where I'm going after that. Alright. So that was pretty straightforward. It was the same thing four times, really, so... Now I know I can get the first two dragon coins. I feel like I haven't gone anywhere into the level yet, so it doesn't feel like I'm about to reach a midpoint. I'll probably get the third dragon coin before I get to a midpoint. Okay, gotta think this through. Safe here. Now I can just bop this. And now I need to go down there again. Let's wait for an opening things easier. I almost messed that up pretty badly, but it wouldn't have mattered because... Oh, okay. Bop. Hit the switch, and... <laughs> oh, gotta fly. It was very explicit about that. Nice. So it looks like I'm supposed to go into this pipe. I'm assuming I hit that on-off switch, and I can get back my cape as many times as I want, as long as I don't die. Oh, wait. So what was all that other stuff in that previous room? I hope I didn't miss a dragon coin. Well, can't really avoid that. I should have just kept going, I suppose. Or maybe I'm supposed to tank a hit on the spikes? I don't really know, to be honest. Well, I got my hit back at any rate. What? What do I do here? I don't get what's going on here. I can go back, but that doesn't help me. And there's no way I can squeeze up there. I really have no clue what's going on. Is there supposed to be a potobo or something there? I don't know. Did something despawn? Well, that was just great. So what else is over here? The other path I still haven't worked out yet, so... Okay, this is the dragon coin. So I did miss one. I thought that was probably the case, but... Feather number two. I can't go back up and down this pipe. So am I supposed to avoid these? How am I supposed to do that? Or maybe I'm just supposed to do that and get my cape back? And then I guess I'm supposed to spin jump and float over to that guy? Alright, it makes sense now, but that was kind of weird. <laughs> I 
There we go. Now I have myself midpoint and the first two dragon coins. Fire. Well, I can burn these a little bit faster sometimes with the... I'm not sure how I hit that guy there, but I won't complain. And I suppose I'm supposed to let this guy out of his cage. Who let the hotheads out? Oh no, I let him out the wrong way. Or did I? I guess it doesn't matter. This guy moves pretty slowly, so... Oh, yeah, I definitely let him out the right way, because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to get it under that thing. Oh, Dragon Coin is down there. And this shouldn't be too hard because of the red block. The short-range fireballs are nice too because they don't go far enough to burn the back of that. Stop on you. Just burn my way through these. So we've got a hot, well, little sparky. Let's let him go around for a bit. I guess this is, might be the easiest way to do it. Let the saw go first and then just spam fire. Thank goodness I don't throw out fire automatically when I spin jump. Oh, uh, did I need that? I don't think so. What's up there though? Is it even possible to get up there? I suppose if I left one of these blocks here I hope I'm not missing the dragon coin up there. So that would be a pretty hard spot to get to, I think. Dang it, the skeleton has annoying timing. He's getting in my way right when I need to jump. Let's wait here, see what I have to do. Oh hey, it's one of these. I didn't get it. I don't have 30 coins. If only it was that easy in the other level to not have 30 coins. Do, do I get a choice or does it want me to have one of each? I'm thinking it's probably the latter given what I've seen of this level. There's my one up midpoint. So where do I want to go? I could go this way. I don't have to go down. But is that a dragon coin? Yes, that's a dragon coin. Thank goodness. Well, I don't need to worry about those now. Now let's see what's in here. Obviously nothing, because it said reset on it. <laughs> those tend not to have a whole lot inside. <laughs> let's just float over here. Is this trying to tell me something? Three, one, two, horizontal two? Guess I'm supposed to glide. Oh, I was supposed to burn those and then fly. It wasn't a secret code. I was definitely overthinking that. Just burn them all. I'm assuming there's just enough space for me to get P-Speed here. Eh, there was actually a fair amount of leeway. Let's bring myself back a fire flower. Oh, I can't really keep that guy here, and I lost it, so I guess I'm going back. Okay, well I managed to let that one out. I can just bounce a fireball down there or something. Actually, I'll let him down here and then go up here. There. Now I just need to let them all go down into that cubby hole, and I can just go through the top. Unattacked. Oh, but I had to let one of them go through this way. Well, that complicates things. I would have to pull some serious jank to make anything else happen. Dang it. I happened to do that glitch in that other level. <laughs> if only I knew about it then, and not here. I might be able to... No. I probably could have just duck jumped that, to be honest.
Okay, that works. And now I can let this guy out from this side. Just run fast. Let's put the cape back on, because that'll make it a lot easier. There. I wonder if they're... Oh, co cool. I made it to essentially a mini checkpoint here. Let's give myself a fire flower again. Alright, you can go up there. Let's just try to avoid getting bamboozled by these guys. No need to go in the reset pipe. I have everything that I need. I probably should have given myself a cape there. <laughs> now I really need to get rid of these guys because I need to actually fly. I'm not sure I trust to be able to get under the thwomps there. Well, I mean, I assume you designed it so that it, you can get under the thwomps, so I'm not sure why I did that, but... Oh, it's Boom Boom. That's strange. Is this literally just a straight-up normal Boom Boom fight? Because that would seem unlikely. Okay, I guess it was. <laughs> boom Boom's such an easy boss that you don't think he's the sort of thing you would just port over to this game. But I guess we did, apparently. I still haven't gotten a single chance to use the Rosary yet. Mostly because, uh, all my deaths have been insta-kills, so the sort of thing you just reset from. Which would imply that it's not actually a death, but whatever. Boom Boom's trials did not stop Mario, and his business enterprise has gone bust. Mario leaves this place of industry to relax at Bowser's Tropical Resort? Okay, so this is going to be the main entrance to that world, so I don't know where the other entrance leads. No saving. No thanks. Oh, okay, it's a shortcut to this world. It's not much of a shortcut, but it is still a shortcut. Since I needed to have both the, the blue palace to get this far anyway. So it's essentially a lot more like, uh, say that red level down at the bottom right, that provides a shortcut to the top side of the forest. I think. Even though it appears to be a lot more than that. So now is when I'm actually supposed to be here. I'm wondering if I found a shortcut to World 8 too. BRY. Blue, red, yellow, I think. Desri and FT. We've got another movie, which means this is going to probably be another puzzle level. Oh. Man, this looks really nice. This is super cool. And very Kirby-ish, too. Let's grab myself. This. And now it's something completely different. Point of advice. Dead or alive, sprites can also step on switches. Dead or alive. Only from above. Alright. So I have to hit the red one. Don't know if I should hit the yellow one. I can hit the yellow one there. Is it possible to undo the red switch? I don't know. Oh, okay. It meant that they could step on the switches, not on... Oh, okay. So the yellow ones turn it off. Interesting. This time, instead of going around like a dummy, let's grab the second block so that I can actually get out of here. There we go. Skull raft, so I guess I gotta react a little bit faster now. Oh. Didn't... I was trying to figure out how I was supposed to do that, and then I was basically down the hole before I knew it. Jump. Okay, so I can walk on those for a second. That's good to know. Um, well, I know that pipe leads back to the left. I don't know if I want to go over there. Doesn't feel like I do. 
There aren't any dragon coins in this level, so I'm not gonna go searching around. Let's not hit that switch yet. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to lead that guy over to the blue switch. There we go. That was very close, because the bat was right in my way at the wrong moment. Oh darn. Good thing I was able to get out of there without uh, stepping on it. I was worried I would step on it on the way up, but I guess that doesn't work. And then this one turns them off if I respawn at the midpoint to make sure that the state is still the same. So I need to hit the red one. Or at least that's what it's presenting to me here. Whoa. Now we've got actual platforming to do. Well, I can hit the red one here, but I can't go back. So I've got to go through whatever this is. Oh, I've got to avoid those switches because I still want my red one pressed, presumably. Oh no, and the saw's going to hit them too. Alright, so I just had to bop that block. Hopefully this sends me somewhere convenient. Darn it, it sends me to the a reset door. Oh, okay, at least it's a convenient race reset door. I thought it would send me back a little bit farther, but it didn't. I'm gonna kill this guy before he steps on the switch, bop the block, so the sod doesn't hit the switch. And now I can go back through here. Okay, good, I have a little platform here. And we're- there we go. I probably needed that guy. Do I just die for going down there? I'm assuming I don't. Yes, I do. Well, I kind of wish I could have told tell the difference, to be honest, but... This level also has a secret exit, and it does have dragon coins, so I could definitely miss be missing something. So the 1-Up Mushroom put that back. So now I need yellow to be hit. But how do I make that happen? Assuming it's not as easy as just throwing that down the hole? Oh, dead or alive, yes. So I had to plop the guy out of the shell, and then now I can take the shell too. Whoops. That was not what I meant to do, and then it just went even worse. Alright, so drop the shell onto the switch, and then jump across. I need to step on him the other direction. Oh, if I time it, I can go into there. Okay, so that's what that pipe is for. So let's throw this from here. Oh, wait. Switches are already pressed, but thankfully, since I restarted this room, just do that. Alright, looks like I went a bit too earlier. Either that or the uh, Koopa went too far left. I'm not really sure which. There. I'm assuming this will be the secret exit, not the dragon coins. I see it. Oh, okay, it looks like it might actually be the dragon coins. Looks like I have to do some platforming to get them all. How do I? Oh, I have to bounce them off those blocks. That's unfortunate. At least I can reset this one. Oh, it resets resets from the start of the room, so that's not great, but... Since I have the second one, I can just do it this way. There we go. Grab the mushroom, and now what? Oh! Oh, looks like I lost my opportunity, and... Oh. I've just got to kill myself. Well, that sucks. At least I can test out the rosary thing. Yay, I revived! Doesn't matter anyway, because now I'm still dead. Well, I missed it, so we're going to be trying this now. You can hit that, and it doesn't matter anyway. Oh. You're gonna hit that. Bullets. Gonna have to do some sort of timing here. 
That was actually pretty easy. Whoops. What am I supposed to do here? How can I knock that guy downwards? Doesn't matter anyways, because I can't really go too far. This is not the easiest thing to time. Timing killing a sprite and then jumping on a thing. It's not something I'm really used to. Let's wait till he comes a little bit closer. Alright, and then just jump immediately. I I think I've got that down now. Bounce up here to get this. All the way over to the right. This is pretty easy. It's cool how uh, it forms the block you need for the next part, too. Alright, so I guess I jump up here. Oh, I gotta go fast. Whoa! Okay. Managed to do it. Well, let's grab this and see if I can keep on going. I'm not sure if I was supposed to hit that. Does this lead to the secret exit after the dragon coins, I wonder? Well, at least I don't have to collect the dragon coins again. But it doesn't seem like it's just going to lead to looping it back around because that would be pointless. Dang it. <laughs> the show went over him that time. I actually made it to the green platform that time. Alright, so I think we want to keep the fuzzy... Oh, dang it. Okay, I get it now. That's, that's what we want to do, and then hit the rock for the last one. I need the fuzzy to land on that one FO, and then I'm good. Okay, so this time I know... I want to hit that switch on the right side of the platform. And then I just hit the rock whenever, I guess. Then he gets stuck, and we can go up whenever we feel like it. Secret exit, please? Nope, not quite yet. Okay, so I've got to guide it through the maze. Oh, I had to go back, that's why. Alright, well at least it flops me back here, so it's not really that tough. <laughs> cool. Jump, and then it forms jump half. Wow, that <laughs> that's really neat, actually. And there's a chuck and a key. Good work with your multicolored rock there. I tend not to be that great at solving puzzles quickly. I'm good at platforming quickly, I'm also pretty good at uh, solving puzzles slowly, I think. Well, at least I'm okay at it. But solving puzzles fast, I just feel like I go down the hole and then figure out the solution half the time. This takes me back to the midpoint. That makes things a little bit more convenient for me. Well, So I still haven't figured out this puzzle at all. Oh, I'm supposed to kill the bullet bill. What? That doesn't do it? Well, I guess maybe I have to collide that guy with the bullet bill. That should work. I'm not sure why... Like, the fact that the bullet bill doesn't press it seems almost to break the rules, but... Whatever, it's not that much harder to do that anyway. Okay, so I suppose I'm supposed to get the chuck to hit all of these. Oh, I'm supposed to create a ramp. I'm not really sure what, I, what I'm supposed to do with it, but... Maybe I just need to... whoops. 
Maybe this is right? Hopefully it's not more complicated than that. It's essentially got to wander back and forth between these two. Let's see if this has the right behavior. Nice, got it. And is this the normal exit too? Hey, Chucks. Doesn't look like there's anything past there. Turns out there was really not much more to go until the regular exit, so I practically got that for free at that point. So I can either go to Impetuous Athletic 2 or Hops Up Wealth. I think I'll go here first and then join the path back up later. Whoops, I forgot to check who did this. Why do I feel like it was World Peace? I don't know why. Whoops. Okay, so it wants me to uh, spin jump where the coins are. So this is basically the opposite of that other level earlier. Coopster, okay. My wild guess was not, in fact, correct. So it's safe to go for the money. Spinies will only sink on straight oil spots. Don't ask me how chemistry works. Worst school subject ever. I don't have a problem with chemistry. I enjoyed that class. And now, well, I'm not sure why I bothered going back. That was pointless. So it's definitely pretty hard to go forward, I suppose. Alright, do you throw a spiny? Some Lakitus are shy and never leave their pipes. They don't know what they are doing and never throw their eggs right. Alright, so I suppose uh, that's just to prevent me from killing them. Alright, so I guess whenever I stand on this platform, he throws another one. There we go. I wonder if that's vanilla behavior pulled up. Whoa! That was dangerous. I wasn't expecting him to hit me. I'm wondering if that's vanilla behavior, and, uh, dang it, there's nothing in here. Alright, so I needed that to hit that. So let's just bounce low here. Dang it, the urchin's covering me. Rats. <laughs> I did not get that in time. I was very close. I pressed the buttons and I thought I had it, but I didn't quite have it. Dang it, that was not good. I didn't mean to go to the left side of the pipe there. Pop the block so that I can get a spine to go this way. Alright, the timing worked out significantly better there. The block again. You now this looks kind of nasty, actually. Uh, how do I get you to come out? Throw something at me. <laughs> there we go. I took a hit there because he seemed to be kind of jank for some reason. Alright, well that's a tense moment, but... It's easier than spin jumping, low spin jumping on saws, so I'll take it. It's actually kind of tricky to get. Wait for that guy to bounce off. There's no more bullet here, and I die anyway. Whatever. Well, that was totally worth it. I wanted to go on the spinies when there were two so that I'd be more likely to be able to stay afloat. Dang it, that timing was bad. I 
that timing was also pretty bad. They keep going when I actually need to go. Let's just try doing that. There we go. Much better. Let's wait for these guys to keep on moving a bit, so I can just get as far ahead of the bullet bills as possible. That was bad timing for that guy. That's alright, as long as I can make it to that. Alright, I basically have to go straight up. Don't rush it, just wait for that guy to go in there. And we're good. Alright, so it looks like I gotta bop that block and then go back up. Whoops, that was dumb. Doesn't matter too much though. Oh hey, there's the last dragon coin. That's a good thing. Rats, I just barely missed it. That otherwise would have been perfect. Dang it, this uh... I need to jump before it fires basically, if I want any hope of making it up there, but that's also kind of tricky to do. This is badly timed. Okay, this... I'll go here. Let's go... Dang it. He threw when I was standing on top of the pipe, which I wasn't really expecting, to be honest. Alright, so let's just go down onto the spiny when he gets near the coins. There we go. Bounce across, bounce across. Dang it, he... I thought he was going to continue downwards, and he didn't. He just started going right, which left me with just not enough height to reach him. Ugh. I didn't, I didn't see the flat part there, and I didn't interpret the blue coins correctly. I guess that's what they mean. with the music quite well, actually. <laughs> there we go. Man, that, like, any individual obstacle on that level is not, like, super difficult, but there are a lot of medium difficulty obstacles that, if you miss mess up any of them, it's generally a one-hit KO. All right, well, I think that's good for today. I'm about halfway through Beach World now. Maybe that's being a bit generous, but whatever. So, curious to see where I end up after this. See you next time.